and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United up against Crystal Palace. Thank you, Derek. Just flicking through my notes at this one, everything points into a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Up against his old club, and that is never easy for a footballer, a mixture of emotions, Lee. Well, Derek, it could be a hugely emotional day, that's for sure. Seeing old friends, teammates, wives, families, etc. But all that has to be acknowledged and then forgotten about instantly. Get on with the game in hand, do your job, perform for your team. The first half underway here at Old Trafford. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea between the posts. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Harry Maguire. Must take the lead here. And it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. So back in action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. And taking it away. Well, that ball looks promising. Rashford. Failure to keep the ball by United. And a goal has been scored at the Hawthorns. Let's hear about it from Allen. It's a goal for Sheffield United. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Wan-Bissaka and firing it to the near post. Fred. This might have potential. MacArthur. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. So a throw in here. Kuyate. Well, the defending not the best here. Possession given away, unfortunately. Fred. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. It is to be a throw-in. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. And the cross is very much on. Bruno Fernandes. Cavani. And a timely intervention. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And now the delivery. What a vital intervention. Throw-ins given. 
crossing opportunity. Marcus Rashford. Alex Tellez. Fred. Terrific block there. Palace, in terms of possession, have been poor, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter attack is absolutely fantastic. An attack full of promise. It's one of the saves of the season from De Gea. And over comes the corner. Well, clattered away. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. And firing it into the area. The fourth official has indicated there will be a Zaha, McCarthy. And in time. And that's an important intervention. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on the game. What have you made of his performance, Lee? Yeah, losing a game is bad enough, but he's not helping his team out at all. Lack of movement, lack of imagination, too easily marshaled by the defence. He's not worked the keeper at all. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Marcus Rashford. Edinson Cavani now. And the attack looks promising. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And the keeper taking it cleanly. But a big breaking transfer story, and this, I can tell you, is now official. Joel Matip has completed his move to Leicester City. Well, he ticks a lot of boxes for me. Quality all-round, energy, technique. He's got the full package. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. A counter-attack at pace, excellent football, and not so very far away. Well, in order to play like this, you do have to have speed in your team. And they have. And they weren't far off there, were they, Derek? And a goal has gone in in the Liverpool match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. A great bit of close control to take the pass on the edge of the area, beat the covering defender and slot the ball home. 57 minutes, please. 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. It looks promising. And they've won possession again. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Newcastle United. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek. And that should be an absolute belter. Bruno Fernandes. Playing advantage here, United keep it. This looks promising. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, body in the way. United behind, but a corner could come in handy. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. Fred. Well, it's been all United in the last 15 minutes or so, Derek. They're playing well in midfield, they're creating chances. It's just a matter of time, surely, before they get back into this game. And options in the centre. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. The drama of the Carabao Cup, and it's live with us here on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace facing Southampton. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Running with the ball confidently. Oh! 
Opportunity. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. So the corner played into the box. Terrific block there. And news of a goal in the West Brom game. Alan? It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. Eight minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Looks promising this. Well, disappointing end to the move. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Wilfried Zaha. Well, that is how to run at defenders. United come away with it. Alex Tellez has it. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Bruno Fernandes. Disappointing pass. And there goes the final whistle. The big story here, maximum points for Palace. Lee, your assessment. Well, wins like that when there's nothing between the sides seem more valuable somehow. Really tight game that was. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.